Hey guys, welcome back to this another Grease Monkey live stream that I'm doing today. A little late, but I'm here and ready to go. So, uh, don't see anybody here, but I'll just keep talking. Hopefully Susan comes in. She, she just emailed me asking if I was on. So, hopefully she'll be here. <laughs> All right, today what we're going to be doing is what we've been doing before on previous live streams. We're just going to do be doing some some environmental modeling. I'm working on a project with uh, a creator named Spitfire Storyboards. Definitely check him out. It's his YouTube channel. Cool guy. And today we're going to be building like a new room that we have or that, that he wants, that we want really, uh, for the beginning part of our animatic that we're creating. Uh, and I'm going to be using these hard surface uh, models, kind of like a kit bashing way. I'll probably break them apart and see if I can repurpose them too. If you want to download these, these are free to use, pretty sure. It's called openvisualeffects.com. The link will be in the description if you guys want to want to want these. These, are, these look really awesome. Um, all right. So without further ado, let's just start what we're doing today. So this is the, the lab that we're making. So it's looking, it's looking all right. It's looking pretty good, you know, uh, but it's time to move on from here and we're going to build the room that goes like, right, you know, through these doors. Um, and, and, and we're going to go through these doors and there'll be another room on this side. So we'll, we'll start building it out, uh, bare bones first, and then we'll start building it up with uh the different um objects that you can download from that website that's also linked in the description so all right so let's see uh let's get us let's get a cube here and let's get rid of this bottom window can i get rid of this bottom window easily hold on i think i can there we go So for now, that was a shader graph. Don't really need that right now. Oh man, so ready. Got my coffee. Already drinking. Already drink half of it. Hopefully, it kicks in. Woo. Okay. So let's start off with the cube, and we already created like a new collection here because I'm gonna be disabling these. Uh, as we go, because we don't need to see the rest of the room here. <laughs> All right, so let's create a cube and we'll start building out the bare bones of it. Right, where that, oh man, that cube is in a weird spot. Let's move our cursor back to the center and shift C. Let me put on my screencast key so we can see what's happening here. All right. Um, so it's in the center now and we will make a cube mesh and we will enlarge it and I'm going to do, let's see if this works. Interesting. So I'm going to try, I'm going to work in this like cube or quad view just to, to try it out. Uh, basically to get here, you press uh, control alt Q and you get like this quad view. So you get the, it says at the top, the top, the front, the right. And then my perspective here, which is actually pretty neat. It's a pretty neat uh, option. I think Cinema 4D works this way. And uh, I think it's, at least that's what it reminds me of. I'm sure probably other softwares do that. So let's work in, uh, let's work in the, the solid mode here. All right. So this uh, cube, I don't want to be able to select it. There you go. So let's get this cube and we'll start building this out. And right now, uh, you know, I can't see inside of it. So I'm going to do the same treatment I did with the, the base here. So I'm going to add this material, the lab base box, and then I'm going to flip the normal. So you'll be able to see inside the box. So lab base box. Okay. We're going to edit mode and we will Flip the normals. What was it again? Was it Alt N, Control N? I always forget this one. Not Control N. 
maybe it's alt n yeah there it is alt n gives you the normals menu and you'll be able to flip them so there we go i flipped them and now i can see inside and i just uh do this so i don't know i i think it's a fun way to work so right now let's see from the right view we can see that the room floor i think has to match you know where this bridge is so it makes sense so we'll grab it from here and we'll bring it down just enough to it doesn't have to be perfect but there you go it's right at the beginning um and this room i kind of want it like a rectangular shape let me pull up some some images here on my end so i can see what we're going for do, 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 do. bear with me just bringing up some reference reference images for me over here okay let's see time lapses all right anybody in the chat there anybody wanna who who's with me today We got two people in the chat. Please chime in. <laughs> there we go. All right, just pulling up my reference here just for me on my end. So I'm able to look at something. There we go. All right, so this room's going to be more cube like and it's going to. Have some beveled edges so we can fit it and it just goes just beyond the door okay so i think we have what we want here uh probably a little wider so let's put it a little wider just like this and we're just going to erase also these these little panels on the inside uh let me make sure this is invisible don't need to see this right now we're also going to redo those. All right. Susan, how's it going? Good to see you. Sorry for being a little late on the stream, but I'm glad you're here. Glad you made it. How are you doing today, Susan? All right. So here we go. We're going to continue. Control Q. We're just going to work in one window. Maybe that quad view is not as good as I like it to be. <laughs> All right, so we made the room and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel these edges here because I would like to have, I don't know, just a little bit of interesting form here. There we go. So our room is looking all right there. There we go. Uh, let me keep looking at my reference. And I think we could probably extend it just a bit more. I'm also going to put a little guy in here for some, some scale because I can't really can't really tell. So I'll just duplicate this guy and I'll bring him back here. And that's just what I use for my scale. My little dude here. Uh, okay. So let's take away these guys. Don't need them. Susan, thanks for all the tips, videos. I've learned a lot from them so far. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching them. I'm glad they, they help out. Uh, I'm going to continue making them. I might skip today. Because I'm doing a live stream today. But... I will, there'll be plenty more to come. There's lots, there's lots to talk to talk about when, at least when it comes to, to blender and learning it and stuff. So I'm glad they're really helpful for you. 
let me maybe I can link it in the the chat here. Let's see. Once again, you can use a, I'm going to be using this kit bash here, open visual effects. Pretty good, pretty good site. So let's look at my playlist. So for anybody in here who doesn't normally watch, you could definitely just check out this playlist. It will have a playlist for quick tips that I've been making. It's a little series. It should be pretty helpful. I mean, if you're well versed in Blender, maybe you'll you'll know most of it, but maybe maybe I might teach you something. Maybe you may pick something up that you didn't uh, know before, but definitely check that out. Okay, cool. So we got our room. It's looking pretty good. Um, and just for reference for me, I'm going to put this guy on the opposite side as well, just so we can see what that looks like. So shift D, then we'll rotate it on the Z axis 180. Um, and we'll bring in this door just so we can barely see it. Maybe we'll just put the framing of it. There we go. Just for reference, probably not going to be the final, the final thing, but I think it's, it's setting up to be to pretty, pretty decent there. Okay, so we got our room set up. We got the beveled edges that I, I needed or wanted. The materials are looking okay. And now that uh, that's the case, I'm going to move this guy. Well, let's move this box. It's in room. Great. So I'm going to put room base. I'm going to name it. And I'm going to move this to that collection. So let's move it to room. So I'm just hitting M and boom, moved it to uh, this room collection here. Now I could just turn off this lab so I don't have to see it anymore. And I can just work. Maybe I can even turn off the cameras. So we're looking good. And just for, oh, wait, where's our guy? Let's bring him back. And let's put him in the right collection. Click on him, press M, put it to room. Okay. Now we turn off the lab. Now we got a room it's, it's it's pretty barren and he's floating inches like david blaine off the ground i guess it doesn't matter but let me lower him just a little bit so he can go into the the ground there oh my god look at that he's a hairy man what you're seeing is a bunch of normal so i have the normals turned on for the faces so it's just showing all his polygons he looks like a, a hairy hairy blue man spiky but uh, yeah you can turn on all the normals to see which way like your vertices and edges and planes are facing which i think is pretty neat but we don't need it on right now anyway so there we go we got our guy there's our reference door um let me look at my reference here at the bottom of my screen you can't see this <laughs> but i'm gonna start putting in pieces and blocking in things so Looks like we're going to have three guys coming in, three people coming in, and then two guards. So let's set that up. Okay, so we got guys here. Here's our two guys coming in. And maybe we can center it because everything. Let me. I hate clicking on this room and I keep selecting the room. I'm going to make it so it's unselectable. Now I can just freely pick these guys. Okay, so let's center this. Let's do it uh, by front view. I think that's pretty good. And we'll move these guys back because we're like walking in. Uh, all right. And then we're going to duplicate these guys again. Um, and bring them down over here. And then we'll rotate on the Z. So now they're facing. We're going to make them a different color. So let's make them, call them guards. Just duplicated the material and I'm just gonna where's the color Is it here hold on I gotta bring up the shader I can't can't tell what's happening so let's bring up the shader editor there's our color we need to I want to change so let's change this color We'll make them a typical red so we know these guys are the, the guards. They're different than the heroes. So we got our two guys. 
looking pretty sweet. Uh, and then I think we have one more person here. All right, so they're walking in. Two guards are there. Um, and pretend they have weapons. So, cool. Let me look at my reference again. It's a lot of reference looking. So we got a three guys coming in, then there's two guys, and we got the door. Cool. Um, I think we could start adding stuff to this room. Maybe some crates and boxes. So like I said, I'm, I'm using this uh, kit bash. Kitty bash, kit bash. Open visual effects. Downloaded these. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna use these crates. Um, and just place them around and, and make them make this room look like it's lively. And uh, uh, I have a bunch of kit bashing, but it's good to like limit yourself to like a certain amount. So I have these already downloaded. I'm just going to append them into the project. So what I'm going to do is I want them to appear uh, in between my guys here. So uh, right now the, the cursors uh, way back here inside of like the side the lab. And that's where things are going to be appended to. But I want them to pen right here in the middle. So I'm going to choose two of these guys. Two of these guys. I'm going to hit Shift S. Cursor to selected. And that puts it, the cursor right in between them two. And this is how I use to, you know, what I do to place things. So boom, we got that there. And then we got a folder. And this is where I have them downloaded. And they all came in blend files. So this is how we append whatever's in there into this blend file. So we'll go to file. Also hit control S as often as you can. You gotta, you gotta save guys. You gotta save. Okay. I'm going to file. We go to append. Uh, we you gotta find where it's at. So I'm going to go to media, Sean Kibash. Okay, here we go. So let's do a crate first, right? Is that what the, the website has? There's crates, walkie talkies, monitors, a crate 3D world. I'm not sure what the difference between these two guys are. So we'll do the first one at the bottom or the last one, I should say. When you open up a blend file, see it's a, that blend. It opens up like kind of like any other folder. So like blend files are just secretly folders and they're just not telling you. So it's a folder within folders and I'm going to let's see if they have collections. They have the crate. Yeah, see, so it has the crate, the ground, the second setup, lighting. So I'm just going to import the crate. And it didn't import where I thought it would, but that is okay. How's, actually, is there an option before I just continue? Append. Crates. The selected. Active collection. Insert object. Localize all. Maybe it's this. Localize all appended data, including those indirectly linked from the library. If I have that unchecked, would it go in there? Let's see. Okay. I don't know what that option does. So we'll just go back to keeping it on. So append, localize, we'll do the crate. We'll just move the crate where, where we want it. So I'm going to get this crate. Ooh, feels, feels heavy now. This is taking a, taking a lot out of it. Okay, so we'll move the crate. Oh my god, so heavy. It's these kit bashes. She's pretty nice. Very detailed. Looking good. Um, I wonder if this had a material in the object, but man, it looks so sweet. So we will move this one crate. How many pieces is this crate? Hold on. Oh, 206. Hot dang. I think, I, I think I, that's what that number here in the top left. 206. Anyway, we're going to get this crate. Uh, and it's in so many pieces. Does it need to be in so many pieces? Can I just do it in one piece? Let's see what it looks like if I... Do they have any modifiers on them? Oh, they do. Oh, these modifiers. So much. Okay, so we'll get all these. Let's see if we if we could just combine them into one. I'm doing Control J. That should throw them together. Okay. Ah, see, it, it moves a lot better. And obviously, it's moving. It was moving slower because it was so many pieces. And you know, I also am in like rendered mode, or I was 
Oh, I'm not in rendering mode. Uh, so I just combined them all together with Control J. I don't think that's gonna affect me in the long run. Let's hope it doesn't. If not, we're just using these as placements. So, um, there's one thing I want to do though is I want to move this origin point, which is in the center, to the bottom. So I'm gonna go into edit mode. I'm gonna choose that middle line there. I know that's the center. If I hit Control S, it'll move the cursor to select it. And you see, it moves the cur cursor right to the center of that line, and that's basically the center of the box. So now I can right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Does it have a mirror modifier? What is happening? It does. Oh my. All right, let's see if we can just apply these. So it's control A over here. So Okay, so this piece alone, how many vertices does this have? Where's my, where's my info? Is it up here? Let's bring up the info. I'm just curious. Before I start duplicating this box a hundred times and it like slows down my, um, my computer. Okay. Oh. You know, I never look at these weights, mesh analysis. Oh, man, I know it's here somewhere. I, I was using it before. So this move display, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Boom, boom. HDR related origins. Face. Is it down here? I thought it was down here. Scene statistics. So, so for this in particular, we have 47,000 faces and um, 53,000 verts, which feels like a lot. I mean, it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Is it just like a lot of duplicated stuff here? Hold on. Let me, let me see what's connected. Oh, there's so many pieces. Guess not. I guess this is it's pretty solid. Anyway, enough nitpicking that. We will move the cursor now. We will set the origin to the cursor. Now it's at the bottom there. Uh, now I can uh, uh, rotate it from the bottom. And I think if I grab it and I hold control, it'll snap, right? Cool. So let's put the snap to turn it on. I'm just going to do it by turning it on up here. Grab. And I think right now it's snapping to the invisible wall you can't see. That's exactly what it's doing. It's not snapping into the middle. So that's not useful. So let's just move it down manually. Um, let's move it down manually. Oh my God. Take off snap. Okay. G, bring it down. There we go. So this is... 53,000 verts, which is pretty, pretty hefty. Um, and we'll keep going. Let's see. The box is looking all right. Let's see if we can give it some basic materials. I'm going to be getting a, a material set later on and replacing all the materials I currently have. So let's not do this let's add a base let's see type in lab box okay so i like this except we should reverse the colors oh nope we should duplicate this call this crate and not flip them there we go so that's pretty cool. Maybe let's see where reflective reflective always looks pretty cool. Cool. And um I don't know, maybe we could do a different color. Let's change the hue, maybe the vibrance. Anyway, all these materials aren't final. I'm just I just need to be able to see them. See them spotted out. Okay.
Okay, cool. So since this is essentially 53,000, I'm going to duplicate it, but I'm duplicating it with Alt D, which is an instance. So it should run faster and it shouldn't have to like, I'm not like bloating my, my scene. Cause right now my scene is what? 150 megs, pretty solid so far. So let's Alt D and then I hit shift. Z and that makes it so I could just move it right along or I can just hit Y. There we go. So we'll just move these, I don't know, by hand, like how we've been doing here. And then we may replace these, but I'm just filling up space right now. Shift D, Y. Things look pretty cool. All right. And then we'll copy these. Alt D, I need to copy one, Alt D, bring it to the other side. Cool. The roof is a little high. I wonder if that's going to be like something that should be changed. Like if we want to edit mode, let's choose our, let's take the crate out, crates. Let's do our room base, select it. Let's see if we can lower it. So I'm pressing three, getting on the face. There we go. What if it was like a low, a lower roof like this? Yeah, that feels, that feels nice. Cool. So let me look at my reference. Yeah, let's see if I can even put this reference on screen. Oh man. All right, here we are. So that's the reference I'm using. So we got crates. We got the three dudes, the two dudes, the door. Cool. They're right at the entrance. Maybe there's some doors on the side, I think is what's being implied in that drawing as well. Like if it's like a room of connected rooms. So we'll just keep on going. All right. So I like these crates. Let's rotate some of these. So I'm going to rotate uh, by the Z by like 90. So I don't know. I guess they have, they look different. Maybe you, can we do 180 or are they like completely identical? Let's see. They are identical. So, and then we will, instead of making them all uniform, we will rotate them, I don't know, slightly off. Like if some, um, some machine came in and just put them all uneven. So I'm just hitting, clicking on them. Pressing R, pressing Z, rotating them a bit, give them some life, grab, nope, R, rotate. Very slightly, it just has to be subtle, like if they were just placed here, not perfectly. Like if humans actually work here, making mistakes. Cool, and then we'll do the same on this side. We'll we'll rotate Let's see Ooh man There we go It's looking pretty cool uh, Let's see what other Kit bashing things we have. So we have crates and then actually, you know, let's make them look like we got a couple stacked, you know, so we'll move this into the top here, rotate the Z. Just have them slightly uneven. This great. Oh, 
anyway, it's December, guys, already. The year has gone by so quickly. You know, how has everybody's year been? Here in the chat, please let me know. It's been, it's been working. For, I've been working from home for like eight months, nine months, and it's been crazy. It feels like a blink of an eye when you don't do anything every single day. <laughs> All right. Wonder if I should make smaller boxes. Like there should be smaller crates as well. Like, would you be able to tell? Would it would it be obnoxious? Like, let's see. Let's let's get this one. We'll duplicate it, and then we'll make it smaller. And see, since the origins at the bottom, it uh, it shrinks down perfectly. Okay, we'll grab it. Corner there. Maybe we'll duplicate this one as well. Bring it up. This is really building up, you know, what I want. There we go. So small crates there. Would make would stretching one look cool? Let's see. No. Well, maybe. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm going to try something after I duplicate. I like these small ones, so we're going to duplicate them. Okay, cool. So for this one, I'll grab it. Yeah, which you know, when it comes to this stuff, once you have these objects, these props built, I don't know, it becomes very easy. Then it just becomes a matter of like compositing and like just placing them where you want. So thank you, OpenVFX. So we'll do this. Okay, so boom, we got like some couple small. We got. Couple there built up. We've got two there. I think that breaks up the the room pretty good. Susan says it's been a great year for me. I have got to learn lots and lots of new stuff, computer tablets, lots of classes to learn from. Yes, you know that's that's the positive part about you know like I guess this year in technology is that we're able just to learn from home and. And learn so much. Like if you're willing to learn, you there's probably a class out there you can get it. Like Skillshares and the Udemy's and the the lessons and the private courses and all that stuff. It's it is actually pretty amazing. Uh, I wonder since this is sharing the same data, could I have a different color to this? Could I switch this? No. This gray. Okay, so I guess they have to share <laughs> the same data. So they're the same materials. Okay, cool. So we got small boxes. Let's see what um one of these boxes looks like, right? Alt D. And then we'll you know, center it here. Let's see what a, what it looks like if I were to stretch it out. Does that look terrible? It probably looks terrible. Maybe if I squish it down. Is that something that looks cool? Mm, like it's some sort of like, let's see if, let's see if this makes sense. I'm going to now change the origin point, right? I'm going to change it between, oh my God, it's hard to see. Okay, so I'm going to change the origin point between this, put, put it in between these two points here. There we go. So, oh, didn't mean to do that. So, control S, cursor to selected. Oh, that's going to change the origin point for all of them, isn't it? So, if I hit select, 3D pair, yes, it like <laughs> jutted everything out. Okay, so let's not do that. We're just going to have to do it the way um, that it's built. Susan, what type of uh, computer classes have you been taking? What type of courses have you bought or gotten or? Take, taken is it is it mostly blender stuff or is it other stuff too let's 
go. I think this may may work. It's like a long gun case or something. Would having multiples be more convincing? Maybe a little smaller. Okay, great. Cool. So looking looking like a, a warehouse using the one asset. Skillshare, yeah, Skillshare is great. I have my own account. I've learned so much from so many different people, and it's so great that people could just I don't know make a course and just share it with the world. So good. I've been, you know, I took a course on how to speak to a camera and like drawing and painting, even some computer stuff. So definitely not sponsored, but. Scare show is pretty awesome. All right. So if I add a modifier to one of these crates, does it apply it to all of them? Let's see. If I did something like a dis, dis displacement. Neat. It doesn't. That's actually really good to know. Because then that means I could do something interesting like. What if I got this case, so Alt D, put it in the center. Let's see if we could do something to make this shape into one more shape that would look believable in this room. Blender, Krita, drawing and photography. Oh yeah, Krita is a lot of fun to use. I, I've used it for, for a little bit. Uh, I like that it's free, of course, and it's open source and stuff. I think it's open source. Uh, and yeah, drawing, that's the thing. <laughs> All right, let's see if we could do like some sort of deformity on it, like warp. No, not warp. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for mesh to form. No. Simple to form is what I'm looking for. Okay, so with this, you could do some interesting stuff where you can, as you can see, it's like twisting. And that's looking pretty. Oh my god! Did it, okay, cool. It didn't crash. I'm gonna Control S now for saving, to save it. So I don't know. It looks pretty wild. So let's do a bend. Interesting. So I mean, could that be something? This looks kind of like a hall door now with the bend. Like, could we use this as the door? Would that look cool? Uh, let's see what it looks like on the Z. So this is fun too. Doesn't really look like anything though. And then stretch. Let's see. Oh, you can make it like plump. Skillshare is awesome. Art space I also got, but I think I'm missing something. That's so neat. That's so neat. Uh, going through, learning all that. Learning. Learning's the best. Okay, so I'm bending it. I don't know if this looks like anything. I don't I don't know. Maybe it looks like something. Let's. Maybe. Let's see. Squish it down. Let's squish it the other way. No, that definitely doesn't look like anything. And then this way. Okay, so let's go back to bend. I think bend is what made it look like the door, right? All right. So just for this sake, let's see if uh, it rotate. I'm going to rotate on the Y, rotate on the Z. Nope, 90s. Let's see if this works as a door. Temporary doors, but doors nonetheless. This is all from my one crate, the one crate, not mine, but the crate asset I got. Okay, I don't think it works as a door, though.
Maybe if I can put it as an put an array on it now. So three of them work. Shrinking it down works. Okay, this door doesn't make sense. Three panels. So we'll do one panel. And then we'll see about seeing if we can match it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll bring it out. Maybe we can rotate this on the Y 180. Maybe this way it works better. So let's let's make this invisible just for now. Mm, I don't think they work as doors. Or maybe I just have to make a door or something. Anyway, I think we're going to go back. And we'll go back to a million. Nah, okay. So this is, looks like something that can be on the walls. Let's see. No, not liking any of that. Okay, so we got our different crates and our different squish crates. Looking good, building out the room pretty well. Um, And let's add another one. So this is looking good. Our file size still at 128, so I'm feeling good about that. Feeling real good. So let's import or append another one. All right, let's go back out see what we got here now we got monitor stand let's see if this monitor stand looks good so we'll go there we'll go to collections joint monitor stand pipes and hoses stand base top screen probably don't need scene stuff so let's see if i'm right on that hmm Looks kind of cool. Let's see if this works in the space. Is the monitor on top? I don't understand this piece. I guess it would work like this oh man they're not parented i like these pieces though so let's put that one on hold let's bring it back out and do another one hey susan for uh for, I'm going to be doing more quick tips, like have you been, uh, like as you've been seeing. Uh, is there anything that uh, you need any tips on? Any certain areas of grease pencil that, or a trick that you even know that I should make a video, or make it into a video, or you know, is there anything? Let me know. I, uh, there's plenty of ideas I got left, but I, I definitely would like to tackle the ones that are more pertinent to, you know, the people that are watching. <laughs> Okay, let's figure out what this crate world is. Bolts, cables, details, LED, large, small, sci-fi crate. Let's see. All right, this crate's looking pretty interesting. Maybe that one can be up in front. So let's move it all the way. There you go. Bring it down. Bring 
Okay, maybe that looks too big. All right, let's do the same thing we did before and combine everything. So control J. Oh, no, nope, not control J. Is it control J? Oh man, it's all these. Can I do control J? Come on. All right, so let's combine all these bolts. Control J. That make them look weird. Oh, that's exactly what I needed it to do. We'll move this one here. We'll select all these and control J. Uh, some are disappearing. Maybe we need to do control A. We got to convert these to meshes. Convert to mesh. Convert to mesh. And then put them all together. What is happening? Why does it keep disappearing? Control A, Control A. There we go. So those are combined. The trick that you answered for me was the f first week that you can layer by picking layers uh, back that would help me people like me. Yeah, great. So basically like navigating around, getting through uh, the layers and, and stuff. Good. I'm glad it helped though. Good, 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 good. That's what I like to hear. All right, I'm just combining all these objects together. So it's just one object and it'll help speed up things. So control J is to combine meshes, guys. Very useful. Ooh, not those crates. Got LEDs, control J. Control J. Control J. Yes, I stopped having to control Z. Nice. <laughs> All right. I think I have everything combined here. Almost. Call this crate two. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we got our next crate, and then these are all the crates that we have right now. So that's good. And we got our second crate, and we will give this the second crate material. So let's do that. We'll just make that one flipped so it's purple. All right. Oh, that's right. And then we're going to move the origin so it's in a place that makes sense. So the origin right now is like in the top left. You can see it by the little orange dot there, the little yellow dot. So I'm going to move the origin right to the bottom. And the way I'm going to do that, hold on a second. What is this thing? The distance. So we're going to delete this because it does not make sense to me. Great. Okay. We're back. So the origins up here in the top left, we're going to put it at the, the base of the legs. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to select, go to edge mode, select these edges, which are the same on each side. Now it's going to try and put the cursor in, in the middle. When I hit shift S cursors, you select it. it's in the center. Now I can go back out. Right click, set origin to 3D cursor. And now it's at the bottom. So now I can just bring it down here. Mm. 
maybe this will look better as like a little shrunken crate like this. It's looking all right. Maybe it looks good doubled up. Maybe rotated askew. Hmm, I don't know if that looks good. Maybe I'll put it here. Maybe it'll look better as little suitcases. Like little power generators here. There we go. All right, I think I like them smaller. So shift D, we'll bring some of these over here. And just scatter them. <gasps> oh, there we go. Maybe we can rotate this on its side. And it'll look fun standing up. So it's just about getting interesting shapes here. So everything doesn't look like I just copied and pasted everything. There we go. There we go. We got big, medium, small. Looking pretty sweet. All right, so that crates all right. So let's keep moving. We got crate one, crate two, and then we got this stuff. So we're gonna put all these guys in its their own little collection. We'll put M new collection, and we'll just say people because that's what they are. <laughs> just people. There we go. Ah, I feel a lot better. Okay. All right, let me take a little stretchy break here. Oh, mm. mm, man. Feels good to stretch. All right, take a couple sips here. Get hydrated before we continue. Okay, so we got our small little cases, which are looking all right. What if we change this to generated? No, nope. normals. I guess they don't look too weird. Reflection. I guess they look fine. What if we flip them around? No. Let's make these a little darker. Nah, not darker. How about this one darker? Cool. All right, we're at 256 megabytes, which is pretty good. Still good. Fred, how's it going? All the room is missing is a Christmas tree. <laughs> Look at all those sci-fi gift boxes. All right, that is what it's missing. What are all in these boxes? It's probably large sci-fi coal for all these bad sci-fi men. But good to see you, Ferd. Good to see you. To see you. In text form. <laughs> all right. Cool. So we got these three assets, three boxes. We're going. Let's see what the, the other... Uh, things we have the other what we have what else we have to work with we have hallway section walkie talkies canisters um you know honestly canisters would probably be lively lively up the rooms so bolts canisters leds main parts small parts okay so append let's see what this canister looks like i think it looks pretty good but I definitely 
want to know where that where it went here. Hold on. Okay. So we're gonna do some combining just so they're all on one. Once again, same old same old control J. Control J these. Make sure I, I see that these have modifiers with a little blue wrench. Gotta make sure I apply this. There we go. Just like those. Control J. Okay, wait. Control J. Oh, all these have modifiers. Is there? There's a way to. Is there a way to like apply all the modifiers from multiple objects? Can I do that? I mean, the Control A works pretty well though. I'm not complaining too much. Dang, it's looking so cool with the purple. All right, all these bolts. Let's erase these. Control J. Why can't these combine? What is happening here? Oh, I think they are combined. So is everything good? All right, let's make sure the origin is at the bottom where I want it to be. So I'm going to go to edges. Oh, man, but this piece is like slowing me down. I'm at a gig. I'm at one gig. Jeez, this one piece took me to one gig. It's insane. I don't think I like this piece anymore. Oh, man. Hold on, let's see if I can undo some stuff here. Oh my god, I think I crashed it. Too many undos. Oh. Okay, we're not... I don't think we're going to use this one. Let's erase. Just two. Oh my god. I know it may seem weird. I'm just like really get being too much of a stifler for for this file size but it's gonna get away from me and i know it that's why i'm very conscious of it okay oh wait what happened to my crates no okay there they are Let's erase all these guys. Wait, is this not Oregon? Am I doing this wrong? I think I'm doing this horribly wrong. Right click, delete hierarchy. Is our crate still here though? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Crate two. Call this crate one. Okay, we're back to 448 megabytes. Feeling better. All right, so that tube, too big for me. Too big. Okay, so let's try the next one. Hallway section. Let's go to hallway section, collection, hallway section. Let's see how big this guy is. Okay, our file size is still good. And this hallway section is where? Where'd it go?
there it is. So let's move this to the room. So it's its own little collection. Okay, there we go. Cool. So we got this hallway section colored uh, different colors here. And I, I think we'll leave it separated for now. So maybe we can pick and choose some different colors here. But let's let's see if we can incorporate this into the room currently. Currently. Meanwhile. Okay. So there we go. We'll move it over here. Let's see if we can just make it part of this wall and make it just f force it in and make it work. Okay, so we'll bring it down here. Okay, that wall's looking all right. Let's see if we can just fill up the whole wall, though. Mm, all our boxes are kind of like clipping through and that wires this 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 pole's not working for me so let's edit that let's get our crates out the way for a second i think i'm going to take away this this piping pipe's cool though but not working for me in this okay we got our doodads here. Let's see if this is looking better. Grab Y, get it right there. This looks like it's like a little platform. Okay. I think, you know, this is working. Obviously the color's incorrect or it doesn't match, whatever. But I think it's, it's pretty good. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna select Jiraj, how's it going? Good to see you. All right, so I'm going to select all the hallway. Let me select all the hallway. And if I duplicate it, does it just, doesn't that create its own thing though? It doesn't. So let me move this into its own collection. All way two great so there's our hallway two actually we should just name it hallway section here's a zero and this one's going to be hallway section zero, zero, one uh, we'll keep on going Spitfire, good to see you. Yeah, do, using that kit bash you suggested, working out pretty well. Some of them, it's a little too big, at least for my liking. By big, I mean like file size, vertices, all that stuff. But other than that, it's good stuff. All right, I'm going to select these objects. Let's rotate it. Let's see if we can match it. And then we'll edit from there. Hold and shift, get the Y. There we go. You know what? We're going to raise this room roof at least till match the, the height of the, the walls on the, on the left and the right here. So it makes sense. Nope. Wrong. Three. There we go. You do it right at the edge here, right at the top. There you go. 
There we go. It's looking pretty cool. Filling out the room. I think we can eat, repurpose some of these pieces on the wall and continue. Probably continue the, the piece all around. So I think that's what I'll do. But let's take away these crates so it will work a little easier here. Okay, okay. Would these pieces make sense if they went up the wall? Probably not. But I would like to see. That doesn't make sense because of this piece getting cut off here. Sorry, this is a bit uh, off topic, but I've been meaning to ask you if you have any tips for performance boosts on Grease Pencil. Interesting. Um, Spitfire, if you're in the chat, can you chime in on here? I haven't had big enough project files in Grease Pencil, at least my personal projects I haven't shown on my end to, to do that. So... I think yeah, I think you may have asked this before. So my first question would be, what is, um, what is your computer like? What computer are you using? And I think what Spitfire says, yeah, don't use shadows in the viewport. So that would be like in your settings. I guess if you're using three D, right? I'm using everything. Take everything. This is what it looks like without any of those effects. It's pretty dull. But yeah, Jiraj, what what uh what computer are you using? And how big are your files? Like how big are your grease pencil files? So that, that those are my first two questions for you. Yeah, is it lag? Is it... What is it? Wrong one. Okay. Uh, Alt end. So Spitfire says that's actually something Pierre noticed. Grease pencil fires are taking are taking up uh, more memory than they should. Devs need to optimize it. 
so is it is so spitfire is it just is it an optimization thing it's not something that like like is it a recent change that happened like 2.91 now has like bigger grease pencil files Jiraj says, yeah, I noticed it mainly while I was uh, on a call with a teacher and I just wanted to quickly write notes down in my grease pencil project. The lines were often like not high res enough for it to look like letters. If you're streaming or video call uh, and your PC isn't good enough, it will lag. I have the same issues when I try recording my screen. So... So, yeah, so I would say what Spitfire says, because that's like uh, if you think about it, your computer is like uh, processing images from your webcam and then processing the images from your teacher's webcam. And then it's trying to run a 3D thing. There's a lot going on when you're sharing a screen and in Blender all at the same time. So another great question. What is your VRAM? What's what are your specs? All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can repurpose some of these pieces, put them on the wall. I like how this light's going, but am I doing this wrong? Hold on. Righty, let's see if we can repurpose this wall. Fortunately, I can't tell you uh, now since I don't know and I can't check right now because PC room is occupied by a sleeping brother. Ha. Um. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, the first thing will be like your computer specs, how much VRAM you have. And after you were at, if when you were done with the call, were you able to write better afterwards? Like when you weren't uh, on the video call? Oh, yeah. Thanks. 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 The you like the shaders. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit of um, I think I don't know. I don't forget who does it. Blizzard or something. Uh, part of the thing that I do with the shaders is that I make the darker a, a gradient go from dark to light, kind of like lights hitting from above. I think it's because they make so many MOBAs and like overhead games. They have like that thing. Anyway, I just did that and I, I like it a lot. It does look pretty crisp. Um, Cool. So let's keep going. And then Spitfire says, a simple answer is that it will never work uh, top form when you are recording unless you have a Beast PC. And I think he is correct. I think he is correct. All right, let's see. 90 degrees, guys. There we go. 90. Maybe we can repurpose this to be a door. <laughs> let's see. Oop, let me make this not selectable and let me take the light out. There we go. A lot of flickering happening. I think I'm going to change this. So I don't like working with the lights and also all the stuff that I have on it, but it looks so cool.
Uh, Daraj, yeah, I think I, uh, I think it got better, but I, it may be imagining it. But after a while, uh, Blender just running, it goes back to worse, I think. Hmm. So yeah, so definitely we need to, we'll need to know how much RAM and all that stuff you have and how big your project files are. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know much else. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think that. But I generally believe my PC specs should be pretty good because it's a custom desktop build. All right, well, we'll need to. You know, the other thing is what Spitfire said that, you know, grease pencil objects or files are taking up more space and need to be optimized. So it may not even be you. See what this material is. Let's check it out. Space color. Cool, they got a little gradient going on too. So let's duplicate that one. It's on two. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm missing a piece. Okay, so let me do this again. I'm running a 10-year-old PC currently, and I can certainly say that uh, in heavy scenes, uh, the grease pencil isn't super responsive. 10 years. You're going to run it to the ground, huh? <laughs> Till it's burning up on your on your laptop or on your lap. All right, shift D. Let's do this again. Rotate by 90. Uh, rotate on the Y 180. Grab. There we go. Uh, Goose Monkey, you see that diametrical shape diagonal line on the kit bash? That would make a cool join in the door, maybe. Just waiting for 3000 series to get back, uh, back in stock. Then I'm getting a new build. A good one. Oh man, the 3000 series? You're going to have one of the best builds, probably. Uh, also, you said diametrical. I mean, maybe the end of the kit bash could act as a center join if you duplicate and flip one. Hmm, I'm having trouble, I think, understanding you. So, uh, are you saying this one? This would be a better, uh, a better door. Or are you saying? Let me, let me read it again. Uh, you see the diametrical, that diametrical shape diagonal line the kit bash and Jirai says you have by the way I love your stuff to you great content and artwork he does make some good stuff
And then you said, do you have box cutter? Oh man, I had, I forgot to, I don't have box cutter right now. Do not. There we go. What are those shadows? Oh, uh, no, don't worry. I'll do a uh, draw over on skin. So, okay, great. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was having trouble understanding. Um, Let's see what we can keep going. Also, what's the, what, what the box looks like? Are our boxes see-through? What is happening here? All right. Wondering if I should continue using the, the materials that this kit bash came with. I guess the metal looks all right. But what if let's let's pick the let's let's change it to to base, the base, lab base. I mean, this is obviously more colorful. That dang. All right, let's play with uh, another piece because I like playing with these pieces. It's going, it's looking all right. It's getting there. This flickering is actually really getting to me. I think I'm going to uh, change the material for, uh, for these lights. Or if I turn things off, right? That, that'll probably make sense. Okay, everything's off. I guess it's still flickering. Uh, it's actually not good for my eyes. Okay, so. Oh. Let's. Just for now. Switch this material. Hmm. Obviously, these black walls don't look great but anyway i'm just placing things let's see what else we have here oh my god it's still flickering it's because of this light it is because of the light that's fine we'll work like this for now so i don't destroy my vision all right let's see what else we got here we got monitor stand hallway section canister the canister ended up being pretty pretty uh unoptimized for the scene see what the generator looks like append collections and oh let me to make this easier let me make a collections already generator okay so we're gonna select the generator now we'll append and we'll do the generator collections Front window, generator, not the ground, the handles, the outer casing, the piping and tube, and the screws. And this looks intense. Well, it's now we're at like 500 megabytes, so it doesn't look, seem too bad. That's looking pretty cool. Look at that reflection. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to combine it into one piece so then we could just, I can work with it easier and it's not like taking up a crap ton of um, memory and it runs a little bit smoother. Because right now I'm just laying out the base, you know, the co composition, the, the feels, you know, the vibe, as the kids say nowadays. All the kids. Go. No. 
All right, so I'm just basically applying all the uh, modifiers by using Control A. Uh, man, there has to be a better way to do this. Let me see if I can do multiple ones. <sighs> Lame. I was trying to combine them with without applying the modifiers, and it just gets all wonky, man. Yeah, this is way too much. Oh, man, I know there's a way, and I'm just like, I'm almost too lazy to find out how to do it better. Almost. We'll find out what it is. All right. Oh, my God, there's so many pieces. All right, let's just take a risk. Let's just try and combine it all. Uh, actually, we have to definitely convert these pipes, though. Convert the mesh. Convert the mesh. Okay. Let's see what it looks like after I try and combine all these cubes. Eh, it looked fine. Nothing seemed to break. If you don't mind, ask if I don't mind saying, how did you get Blender splash screen job? And like, what was your train of thought while working on it? Oh, that's a question for Spitfire, I think. Right? Because <laughs> I didn't get a splash screen. Are these things inside? Oh my god, they are. I guess you're supposed to be able to see inside of this. All right, let's see. Just sent us Scrappy Bash on Discord Project Channel. Ooh, let's see. <laughs> that is pretty scrappy. Uh, oops, what did I do? I think I kind of see what you're, do you're you're drawing here. So it'll be like, like if I got that piece and I cut it, okay. And I cut it through. Okay, I'm gonna attempt that. I think I, I think I see what you're doing. Scrap. Get the generator down. Yeah, I think you're right, uh, Spitfire. I think he may be thinking about... How do you pronounce that? The Dauze? The Dauze. The Dauze. But yeah, he has a splash screen. <laughs> he definitely does. He's a great artist. Yeah. 
Blah. Eh. Not worth the generator. Erase. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's, let me look at that image you drew again. That scrappy, scrappy image. Let me figure out. And then. I see. So you're saying cut through here. Let me. Oops. Select this door. Let's figure out. Oh man, I'm. I gotta see if we're, if I have box cutter. I gotta go download it. <laughs> it's okay, Jiraj. But Spitfire is just as cool as that guy. If you have any questions for Spitfire, you let him know. <laughs> now you're like sweating, like, uh. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do something here. Yeah, he is a superstar. I think he's like what inspired most people to, to even do this stuff. Maybe not most people. Let me take that back. <laughs> All right. I think we can make something out of this. Yeah, I think, uh, what's, uh, dead, the doza, the doze, the doze, he has such a, a great style. It's, it looks so nice. It's so fun. <laughs> Love those bright colors.
All right. I think I need to cut these. Can I do it without box cutter? Probably it will be easier uh, with box cutter. Let's see if I can download it. I think it's on my gum road. I think I downloaded it. All right, just looking through all my purchases. Box cutter, there it is. From Master Xeon. This is box cutter 2.8. Does that, is that all of them? All right, we'll just do it. All right, let's install box cutter. Get your box cutter here. Box, box cutter. Okay. Install. Uh, what? Hold on. Oh. Let's put this on the desktop. There we go. I gotta remember how to use this thing. What was the buttons? Alt W. W. Okay. All right, let's see if I can remember how to use box cutter. It's a pretty cool add on. Uh, but I will admit, I don't. But oh my God, what's happening? Why is this back? Okay. So I'm in box cutter. Look at all those buttons. Okay, great. I think that's, I remember, I think I'm slowly remembering here. Can I just solo this? We'll flatten it out. We'll cut right there. Oh my God. I better have saved man. So I hate using these add-ons. Uh, recover last session, right? No, that's not, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it at all. All right. Well, we didn't lose that much. Yeah, this is what I'm always weary about, like doing these add ons. It's because I am running all this stuff on it. I'm sure that's what's crashing it too, like running all that stuff. But this is why I'm so weary of using these, the add ons and stuff. And I just try to figure a, a way to do it in Blender and its own because I just get so many crashes when I'm like doing this stuff. Or maybe I'm just using it wrong, guys. Maybe it's my, maybe it's my fault. Okay, let me, I'm a little, I'm about like 20, 15 minutes back. Let's just go to the front. Okay, we're doing good. Um, 
Let's solo it. Go into this mode. Control. Save. Because I don't want it to crash. Okay. Box. Cutter. Okay. You need to be in object mode for box cutter. So cool. I'm in object mode and the draw said, I'm trying my best to formulate some good questions for Spitfire. You don't have to do that because I love the stuff, but most of the questionings that come to mind could be answered like practice and skill, I guess. Yeah, I definitely can see that. All right. Well, I did not mean to extrude. Oh, it's crashed again, but it's okay. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there's too many objects there. Maybe there's an object there I'm not looking at. Object. Let's try it again. Box cutter. Alt W. Let's try box cutter one more time. See if it crashes. I'm doing it right, right? Like, I'm in the mode. Cut. Try lattice on it and see if that would shape it maybe uh yeah that may that may shape it let me tr i'll try that susan definitely Then it brings back my whole scene. It's so weird. Ah, these add-ons. Okay, let's go back. Go back to the beginning. Let's show you your suggestion, Susan. Susan. I think if I remember correctly, right? We uh, do this. Shape it all out. Cut this lattice a bunch. Maybe not that much. Maybe one more. A oh, great. Get the modifier. Put a lattice on it. Okay. See if we can just squish it and it not look weird, right? That's what I want to know. It's going to look weird. Okay, this is this is all right. It's looking a little squishy though, but I think it's working. Could I edit this thingy here? Let's select the surface. Okay. Thanks, Susan. That was a very good suggestion. It does look 
bunch better. And it's not crashing. I'm gonna see if I can remove this piece and it not be like an issue, right? Does it just leave a hole in there? Is there a hole in there? Yeah, there is, right? Yeah, there definitely is a hole there. Okay, so for right now, let's see if I can fill this lattice or this hole up. There's an add-on I use. I think it's called F2. I like it. I like it a lot. F2. If I remember correctly, what was it? F. That's what it was. And it just makes faces. So, like, if I choose this one, oops, it can, like, make a face. But let's see if I can do something that looks okay. Something that's not terrible. It's going to be terrible here, though. Okay, and then we're going to subdivide it here. So then we can get here, we can subdivide it here. Connect that. Okay, we have some end guns, but I filled up the hole which is oh there's another hole here i guess that's part of it I'll, I'll leave that for now okay cool i got rid of the piece that makes it look squished so that's looking a lot better it's working let me bring that lattice back and also why this needs to be in its own thing oops nope hit m can i just can I bring it out? I just need to see it in one place, guys. Okay, let's bring a collection. Bring these guys in there. Call this door. <laughs> Spelt all funny. Great. So the got rid of that little piece on the door. Oh, did I not name this door? Door. Great, and I may just apply this. I think this looks pretty good. Maybe I want to make it a little bit more square. If I change the lattice now, would that ruin anything? Let's see. Like if I add another line of editing. It does, but it's not terrible. Like, could I then... In turn, remember you can hide a lot of door with the wall and the opening shape. Yes, it's true. Okay, I think I like this shape a little better. There, it's looking more square, which is what I was aiming for. It's look, it doesn't look squished. Susan, thank you so much. That was such an excellent. That was an excellent suggestion. So awesome. Lattices are great. They're great. I love it. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna apply this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate this. Uh, just so I have one always. It will keep, you know, a door <laughs> back up just in case I want to edit it later. But we're not going to have this activated. And then we will apply the lattice on this one. And the bevel. Let me get rid of this. And I think we have the door panel. Okay. Let's bring it back. Where were we? Uh, maybe I should have made it more square. 
Mm, okay, it's fine. I spent a lot of time. I can always have the door back up. Uh, and I'll make the other half now. Do, 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 do. Should I mirror it or should I just rotate it? Let me see what they both look like. I'm just curious. So we rotate this back 180. And we will mirror it. So that's what control M on the X. I think it's doing the same thing, right? So we mirror it on the X and then we control M and we mirror it on the Z. Is that doing the same shape? It is doing the same shape, isn't it? Kinda. No, is it the same shape? I can't tell. Let me look at it like this. Oh, it's the same shape. It did the same thing. Rotating it and mirroring it two times did the same thing. I'm a dummy. Okay, here we go. There we go. Let's go back here. Go to wireframe. A wireframe. We will get these guys, bring it up. get these guys oh man i should choose both of them there back in my day you couldn't choose multiple objects to edit at the same time back in my day okay does this look better with the the indent at the bottom or should it be at the top more towards the top don't know. What am I choosing? Oh, there you go. Sweat. I think for now it works. I think this little top bridge may be throwing me off right now. You think the bottom, Susan? We'll do the bottom. Let's just see. That's at their height. I guess it'll be at that ridge right there. Cool. I wonder if this can be tweaked. Could I just tweak it like this? Let's see. Does that look funky? <laughs> it is jutted out a little bit. Let's try it again. Well, what I could do is actually this. Let me do box select. What was it? Shift. Let's see if we can just eyeball it a bit more. Oh, what's happening is also right here. Like this little this little thing happening right there. Ah, whatever. We'll leave it for the, like that for now. Even though I can definitely see it just slightly jutting out. Um and we'll keep going. We'll keep going. 
I like it, but we'll keep going. All right, let's see. Meta. Okay. Whew. Oh, man. Okay. So, I think I'm going to start just taking pictures. My back kind of hurts. Kind of hungry. So, I'm going to take some pictures for you, Spitfire. And I'm going to upload them onto uh, the sync sketch for you to add more. i definitely missing quite a bit here. But... You know, it's a start and uh, let's dry says snap it with the magnet on Z on the vertex, which is the right height. True, true. I'll do that on the next round. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take some screenshots for you. So we'll do it. Take out these lights. Nope. So let's do some of this. Some overhead here. We'll do some, some wall stuff. I know there's so much more we can add. <laughs> Got cut up in this kit bash here. The walls. Uh, can we do another camera? Maybe I could do some. Is there another camera? Where's our utilities? We'll duplicate this camera. Let's move it back. Oh, why can't I see it anymore? Hold on. Oh, it's because the extras are off. Let's get this. Move it back. Here we go. That black looks nice. Jirach, is there a way for multiple people working on the same blend file real time? You know, it's funny that you bring that up, Jirach. They're, they're actually think one of Spitfire, one of the contacts Spitfire, one of the people Spitfire knows is actually developing a multi-user session add-on for Blender to be able to work on Blender files at the same time. So it's pretty funny that you bring that up. I think they're currently like right now working on it, which is actually pretty awesome. All right, so let me save these images. Close. 
Zero one. It's pretty cool. It has room zero two. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to call it here. Spitfire, I'll be uploading these uh, screenshots to Sync Sketch so you can do some drawovers. Um, only streamed uh, two hours today. Um, got to eat before this, so that's why I cut a little short. Usually I do like three hours. But for everybody watching, thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, Jarrah says, also, what is the program for screenshots? I like the display resolution. Oh, uh, the, the screen the screenshot software I use is it's called Greenshot. Let me see if I can open up. Their website. So yeah, this is the one I, I use. I use Greenshot. I like it because I could just hit like I you set a key and I I like that I can just select where and what I want and stuff and you know, I wish uh, Windows just had a built-in one, but they have like, I don't know, a little bit of a, it takes more steps and I just don't like it. But the Greenshot's the screenshot software I use and it's free. So check that out. Alrighty. Susan, you have a wonderful Christmas as well. Stay safe. Marco, thank you for hanging out. Take care. And appreciate everybody. Susan, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure you, you being here. Thank you. And great suggestion on the lattice. That's I always forget about that tool. So uh, awesome. Thank you. Um, all right. So this is it. This is the end of the stream. Thank you guys for joining. Appreciate it. I'm going to be making... Uh, quick tips videos and stuff so if you guys have any quick tips or whatever that you you think that you you want or you think would be useful please leave them in the comments in the quick tip videos i'll definitely add them into future quick tip videos if you enjoy that series please support it i appreciate you guys um merry christmas happy holidays happy any holiday you celebrate i appreciate you guys always all all seven of you i think it's amazing seven people watch this um so, Merry Christmas. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>